Welcome to Downtown Sports. My name is Downtown Stephen Brown, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Jeremy Brocco. I touched a little bit on Brocco in my last video, but I really wanted to go a bit more in depth on this. So let's get started. Jeremy Brocco finished second in AHL scoring last year and was 21 through the majority of this past season. And many are still questioning his abilities and his skills and how they'll translate to the NHL. And I think a lot of those criticisms are very fair. You really want your prospects to be producing well at 5-on-5 five five and not relying on special teams to really rack up their points. Now, there's nothing really wrong with being a power play specialist, but we've seen this before in the past with a lot of Maple Leafs players where they dominate the AHL and then they get up to the NHL level and they just don't have the same space in order to make the passes that they were used to making, right? And playmaking is Jeremy Brago's bread and butter. When he was in the U.S. National Development Program, he broke Patrick Kane's assist record, which his record was then broken by Jack Hughes this past season. So, I mean, this guy does have a very creative side to him. There's the easy pass, and then there's the passes that Jeremy Brocco makes, and he always seems to hit a trailer or find room. But there is concern that he's a perimeter player and he won't be able to make such plays in the NHL. And I think that that's a very legitimate concern. And the Maple Leafs should be wary about what they're doing with him next. And if they do decide to call him up, they better make sure that they have a proper spot for him on the power play where he can really handle the puck and dish it like he's used to. Because if he's not put in a position to succeed, then any value that he has as an asset will come crashing down when he really struggles in the NHL and the Maple Leafs will have a reclamation project on their hands. Do I think that Jeremy Bronco could succeed at the NHL level? Well, yeah, of course. But players only succeed if you put them in a position to... And I don't think that the Maple Leafs have a spot open for him. So I think the best course of action for them is just to leave him in the AHL where he was last year and let him light up the show again. And maybe if there's an injury or an opportunity that presents itself during the year, then I'm all for calling him up and giving him that shot. If he dominates the AHL all year long, then he could be a very valuable trade trip come the trade deadline. Now, if Mitch Marner doesn't start the season with the team, there could be a real opportunity for Jeremy Bracco there, slotting in on the power play and getting an opportunity to dish the puck to one of his longtime friends in Austin Matthews. But obviously, I'm not cheering for that situation to come true. That would be less than ideal. But let me know what your thoughts are about Jeremy Bracco and where his place on this Leafs team should be. Make sure to like the video and subscribe because more is always on the way as always. And guys, take care.